Guys, welcome to another episode of Wrench. On this episode, I'm going to introduce you to Rust Mageddon, which is the rustiest Porsche 911 I've ever tried to restore. Welcome, my name is Michael. I'm the proprietor here of the Wrench Garage, which is just me. I'm just a dude in a garage. But I was doing a blasting project. I have a little side sandblasting business uh, uh, about a year and a half ago for a buddy of mine who had a 1969 Porsche 911 E. And as I was blasting it, it kept getting worser and worser and worser and worser. Just an inch of Bondo falling off of panels. And I went, oof. He doesn't know any of this. He bought the car thinking it was going to be a quick restoration paint job and then out the door. Unfortunately, turns out this is the rustiest nugget either of us have ever seen. And uh, I have now been enlisted with attempting to bring it back to at least a solid chassis, which is all I'm doing on this. I'm just trying to bring this chassis back to factory spec. But as you can see from these pictures, it is a complete and utter disaster. Rocker panels are gone, front suspension area is gone, rear suspension area is gone, seat pans are gone, window sill is gone, uh, front latch panel is gone. It's just an utter disaster. Now I've got 20 feet of one inch square tubing that I'm going to use to reinforce the chassis because I'm gonna be cutting a ton of factory panels off it. I'd like to keep it where it is currently. Uh, it's on my octisserie and that mounts to factory mounting points. So I'm thinking that the chassis itself is still in fairly decent shape uh, measurement wise. But uh, nevertheless, I'm going to get this chassis reinforcement happening so that as I progress through this thing, I can take panels off without worrying that the chassis is gonna get all twisted and weird. I do have a few panels to weld in, mostly just the floor, but this thing's gonna need a ton. Uh, I may start with the floor just to see where I am with everything else. It may end up being kind of the ground zero of the build to make sure the floors are sound so that I can uh, weld in other pieces and that becomes kind of the centerpiece of the whole thing. All right, I had this bracket left over from the uh, race car origins of the Blasphemy build. If you guys haven't uh, followed me and you are new to the channel, the Blasphemy build is another 69911 that I've put a twin turbo Subaru EZ30R motor in and a lot of other fun techie stuff. Um, I've done 100 videos on it so far, so uh, as of this video. Uh, so if you haven't checked it out yet, check it out. Anyway, I had this bracket that uh, was actually used as a transmission mount in that original race car. So I've just cut it in half. I'm gonna bolt this into the seat belt mounts and then I'm gonna weld my tubing in a diagonal from here to the seat belt mount and triangulate the, uh, the window frame. So that's the plan right now.
All right, doodlies, we are reasonably braced here. Uh, I had an extra one here because I wanted to get something to cross, but super solid now. And you know, I'm gonna be taking out these floors, so it's nice to have something running uh, along the longitudinals. Uh, I probably need a couple of more cross braces, but honestly, I ran out of square tubing. What I would like to do is actually run one from there to that diagonal, so I will cross this thing up. And uh, I've got this thing mounted to the seatbelt point here. The reason I didn't do the doors yet is because I've got to replace these quarter panels, so that's gonna go away. And on a couple of these, especially the other side, it's so rotted that I have to replace this panel as well. So I didn't do that. But honestly, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, it's secured front suspension all the way through here, then rear suspension. If I wanna get super nerdy, which I might, I may actually tie these together. All right, that is episode one of Rust Mageddon. I uh, got it all braced up, so we are ready to start cutting some uh, metal off to start welding some good metal back on. You know, I don't have a, a select bench or anything like that, and guess who else didn't have a select bench in 1969? Porsche. They didn't build that stuff like that. Um, what I do have is a tape measure and a super crappy welder. Uh, if I had one wish, is, it's that I would have a better welder uh, for this job. Maybe Lincoln Electric will send me something. Anyway, um, the point is though, is that I, I like to show that you guys can do these kinds of things as well. You don't necessarily need to have all the latest, greatest equipment to bring a car back from the dead, like I'm going to attempt to do uh, with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the channel. Follow the Blasphemy Build. I'm at Wrench on Instagram. So I'll see you there or here for the next episode. Peace out.